Shimmering in the cool of autumn, waterfalls trickling down magnificent rock formations, rocky canyons and towering snow-covered peaks, cadets marching in formation from the Air Force Academy. All this and more in today's program as we bring you a musical visit to Colorado Springs with my special guests, the Air Force Band of the Rockies, Stellar Brass. Thank you for joining us. over Colorado Springs is one of America's famous mountains, Pikes Peak. Pikes Peak was named after Zebulon Pike, who I am happy to say was one of my ancestors. Whether by car or the famous Cog Railway, a trip up the mountain is an experience you will never forget. A continuous panorama unfolds before you as you travel through shimmering aspens to barren stretches of timberline and unparalleled views of the Great Plains to the east and snow-capped peaks to the west. The views from Pikes Peak were immortalized in 1893 when Catherine Lee Bates penned the lyrics to America the Beautiful after visiting the summit. Joining me today on our musical visit to Colorado Springs are members of the Stellar Brass, one of the outstanding groups from the United States Air Force Band of the Rockies. The Stellar Brass have played for standing room only crowds throughout the United States and foreign countries. They enjoy a reputation as one of the outstanding brass quintets in the country. Welcome the Stellar Brass.
pleased to bring you music today from the First United Methodist Church in Colorado Springs. Founded in 1871, it is the city's oldest church and today still is one of the largest and most active congregations in Colorado Springs. The sanctuary holds the 1986 Reuter organ, which has four manuals, 83 ranks, and 4,714 pipes. Springs is home to numerous organizations which add to the spiritual life of our nation. One of the largest and most influential ministries known worldwide is James Dobson's Focus on the Family. Here, almost 1,800 people help prepare radio messages, videos, magazines, books, materials on home and family, and counseling literature to a worldwide audience.
One of the outstanding Christian organizations is Navigators, which also calls Colorado Springs home. Founded by Dawson Trotman, Navigators was incorporated in 1943. This wonderful organization has made a permanent difference in the lives of millions worldwide through the study of God's Word. Here we are at the Glen Erie Castle, headquarters to this fine organization. Like a page in a picture book, Glen Erie's stately castle comes into view as you continue your traverse into the valley. been called the grandest mile of scenery in Colorado. Seven Falls highlights seven separate falls as they splash and tumble 181 feet down a sheer granite cliff. Next to the falls, a 224-step stairway leads to a mile-long nature trail and a panoramic overlook of both Colorado Springs and the plains of eastern Colorado. A mountain elevator cut into the granite cliff transports visitors to the eagle's nest, the observation platform for a spectacular view of the falls. The Garden of the Gods is one of Colorado Springs' most amazing attractions. It is situated on over 1,300 acres of land at the base of Pikes Peak, where the Great Plains meet the Rockies. Flora and fauna reflect the rich diversity of the crossroad, and towering red sandstone formations tell a unique geological story.
A visit to Colorado Springs would not be complete without a visit to the Air Force Academy. This beautiful setting is found at the base of the mountains north of Colorado Springs and is crowned with the soaring arches of the chapel, a tribute to the majesty of the Rockies. A good time to visit the academy is around midday when at 1140, the cadets make their formal march to the dining hall. Here the ceremony and discipline of this great institution will thrill the observer and take on new meaning.
Today, the Joy of Music has come to you from beautiful Colorado, as we have brought you a musical visit to Colorado Springs with my special guest, the Stellar Brass. We thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.